What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to expand the range of your wireless network using any old router that you may have laying around or if you went and bought a new router just because yours doesn't reach a certain room or whatever. Um, what you're going to need need is, I got here a old router that we just had sitting around and then this is my existing one, I don't know why this is just an old one. But what you're going to do is you're going to need an ethernet cable that's long enough to reach where the existing one sits to wherever you want the new one. Um, basically what this does is it's going to make not two signals, but it's going to make it just one big signal. Alright? Alright, first thing you want to do is open up your internet browser and go up to the address bar and uh, type in your IP address. Um, mine is 192.168.1.1. Uh, if you're using an IE, you might want to add HTTP dash dash. Um, this will take you to your settings just go to your wireless uh, go to the basics and when you want to write down your SSID and channel SSID is the name that shows up when you search for like a wireless network also if you have a password on it you want to go write down uh, what the password type is and what the password is and then next what you want to do is you want to disconnect from this from your internet plug in the old router and then plug the ethernet cord into the back one of the four ports and then directly into your computer and it'll show up a signal like this and then you just connect to it uh, you won't have a signal and it won't show a signal or give you any kind of like internet connection at all it'll just put off a signal and you'll be able to get into the settings so what you're going to want to do is go back up to the address bar and type in 192.168.1.1 again and then it'll bring up uh, once a username and password. Now, like I explained on how to reset it, uh, if you know the password or whatever, then and that's fine. But if not, most of the time, after you reset it, the username is admin, and it, the password is one of three things. It's either nothing, password, or admin. In this case, it's admin. So I type in admin, and it'll bring me my settings. Now, the first thing you want to do is change the IP address because you don't want to get everything all mixed up because it will, it'll fight over who's got that exact IP address alright so you save the settings and once it saves it it's you're gonna have to retype in the new IP address because it still has you on the 1.1 so just do 192.168.1.2 enter and it'll take you or will bring you back to the username and like I said it's admin and admin alright after that it'll bring you to the settings or well after I type it in correctly it'll take you back to your settings and then this time you want to go to wireless and then you're gonna to wanna to put in the name of your existing router which mine is do it my way and then channel which was six which is already on six and save the settings alright and sorry about this part I actually had to cut in because I actually totally forgot about it but you have to go to advanced routing at the setup and it's real easy to find it just you change a mode from gateway to router and that's it Alright, next what you want to do is go back to your setup and you want to disable the DHCP server since your prim primary router will be the one handling the task of assigning IP addresses to like other devices connecting to it. And then save the setting and then it should just show it all as one big connection. And then if you ever need to get into your main router to change any kind of settings, you just do 192.168.1.1 and that'll take you to your normal one and then if you need to go into the spare one you do 192.168.1.2 or whatever you changed it to and that'll take you to uh, the other router alright now that you have everything set up in the router settings what you're gonna do is just take your ethernet cable and plug it in one of these four ports on your existing router okay it doesn't matter which one you plug it in and then this being your new one, plug it in the same thing. One of the four, it doesn't have to be the same one you plug on this one. Do not plug it in this internet one. All right, and then just set this wherever you want and you're ready to go. And that's how you expand the range of your wireless network using any old router. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, show me some support. Uh, I'll do more videos on anything. If you have any questions on how to do anything, go ahead and uh, leave it in the comments below. If you want anything on how to on cars, make sure you check out Ubush Productions. I'll have a link for him in the description below. He's great on doing things with cars. He does it right and he does it good. Alright guys, see you.